This is aspiring artist and children's book illustrator, Romany Lipscomb. I decided to record her process for creating art, as well as asking her about her artistic style and preferences. My first question was to ask what kind of art supply she uses. I like to use watercolours mostly. I use watercolour pencils as well as watercolour palette. I wanted to know about any published works beyond her artwork, as well as what she would like to do in the future. Last year, in 2021, I self-published through Amazon a mermaid-themed children's book that I illustrated myself using the iPad Pro, but it was a mindfulness book for children maybe to help with anxiety, and it's also a journal. That was for ages 4 to 8. The style wasn't my usual style. It was more bright and cartoony, mainly because of the age group that it was aimed at. I'd love to make more in the future, more in the style that I'm comfortable using, which isn't digital, it's more paint and paper. I'd really love to illustrate a children's story for someone in the future. That's like a dream job. Next, I was intrigued as to find out who or what has inspired a burgeoning art style. The style I like to go for more these days is heavily inspired by an artist called Phoebe Wool. She also likes to paint and she does cutouts and layers her artwork, which is what I'm doing now. Looking at the art of Phoebe Wool, it is clear to see the influence she has had on Romany. The light, innocent themes and cartoonish, simplified drawings seem to fit perfectly with the children's book genre and its art style. As I watch Romany draw, I can't help but feel this art style must be quite therapeutic for those who do it. What's more, observing her process is really opening my eyes as to how much she takes her time and enjoys creating, particularly in comparison to myself. I have always found filmmaking to be a nervous and tense ordeal, but this experience has already taught me to relax and take time to enjoy the process. Romany has done a variety of art pieces, as well as creating a number of short animations, both for educational and recreational purposes. This is thanks in part to her degree in animation from Plymouth University. Romany likes to produce layered pieces, something that takes time and patience, along with some persistence. I couldn't help but feel that I would simply not have the same level of focus or deftness with my hands to do what she does. That said, I can already feel myself becoming more inspired to try art myself, especially trying out this wholesome art style that doesn't require years of intense practice or attention to detail. It also makes me want to try my hand at writing and or illustrating my own children's book. It definitely feels like a more viable option now. As someone who has always struggled with creating art, seeing Romney's style gives me more confidence that you don't have to be the next Picasso or Da Vinci. Romany's art style is fun, not overly complicated, and still looks good, and has its own feel and aesthetic. I love that it is clearly suited to children, and her creations are perfect for accompanying a light-hearted and cute children's story. Her art does have some elements of detail, but even those are done in a simple way that suits the style and tone of the picture. I was pleasantly surprised by how much I gained from observing an artist at work. The longer I watched Romany, the more I felt a connection from her as an artist to me as a writer. When I write, I have complete freedom and control over what I create, and that sense of freedom and ability to express seems to permeate the air around Romany when she creates. Just like when an author writes a story or a poem, Romany and her artistic peers are only limited by their great imaginations. It is truly inspiring. Romany Lipscomb's self-published book, The Mermaid Journal, is available online and has received multiple five-star reviews.